mentioned the title mm -hmm. while the speaker sits up. So our next, uh, our next paper is entitled, Is the pen mightier than the controller? A comparison of input devices for selection in virtual and augmented reality. The authors are Duklin Pham and Wolfgang Schürzinger, both from Simon Fraser University <laughs> in, uh, in Canada, uh, British Columbia. However, and neither will be given the presentation. The presentation will be given by Mayra, yes. uh, but also from the same university. Right? Yes, same lab, same everything. Yeah. So please. All right. So thanks for being here. As I say, this is not my work, but I will try to do a bit, uh, like a good job for it. So the title is a pen comparison of pointing devices in virtual reality, and this work discusses the performance of controllers and other input devices in VR and AR, and it proposes a pen that has better performance than the standard controller, standard Vive controller, in ray casting selection tasks. So the motivation, it's VR and AR users need to select things and mani to manipulate virtual content. However, nowadays there are many different devices that can do this thing. So it's like controllers and pens and like different shapes of controllers. And the question arises, what, what is the performance of those devices? And what are the issues or limitations? And how can we improve them? So one easily controller to select is a big menu, as you can see. However, there are other selection tasks, like selecting a point in a a point in a scatter plot, 3D scatter plot, which is far away from them. And users could either like select the move the controller slower or target the data point more accurately or move it faster and probably make more errors. So it lets to search for new points and devices that potentially improve the speed and accuracy trader. So most controllers have to the uh, ha are held like current controllers are held in a power grip, which is the picture show there. And hence, users need to rotate the whole wrist or even move the whole arm to manipulate the direction of the controller. And one might, might wonder, is this the most efficient or accurate interaction? And on the other hand, a precision grip might afford more accuracy than a power grip, as observed in children for learning to draw. And the precision grip is the one you're seeing in the slide. And it leads to like investigate if pen devices are better for immersive environments. Also, in addition, there are like a couple of companies that have recently introduced pen-like devices for virtual reality. And though they are still in development, they are like really promising, and evaluation is like necessary to see if they're actually as good as the, the companies seem to think. Now, there is a whole related work regarding dry pointing task, distant pointing task, and ev its evaluations. And for example, fast forward has evaluated van vans and laser in front of large displays. And however, modern virtual and reality systems involve HDMs and have a higher degree of immersion. And also, pen or stylus have been investigated in front of normal devices or displays. But in this paper, like the authors aim to evaluate the performance of the pen in modern VR and AR systems. So to do that, they run a user study, and this is like the experiment design. So they use a two by two balance factorial environment, which consider the immersive environment and the pointing device. They were two different env environments, the virtual reality, which is a HTC Vive Pro, and the augmented reality, which is used a Meta 2. And these headsets have a similar resolution, weight, and refresh frequency. And they were also considered three different pointing devices, the controller, the pen, and the mouse, which was as used as the baseline compared to the other two. And it was used the mouse because it's like familiar pointing device that the users usually use. And yeah, here are the illustration of the actual devices tested. So the pen was actually a whiteboard pen that was put with markers and a black tape to avoid reflections in the tracking system. And the mouse was a standard mouse and the controller was a standard HC5 controller. And in order to have like the same tracking, they have like the tracking points because they use a different tracking system than the Vive and the Meta to be sure that everything was like the same. And they use like a standard pointing task to evaluate the devices. In total, there were 11 targets. The standard pointing task is a fixed slow in a circular in front of the participant. And the user either manipulated the input device in to move the 
green cursor and press the space bar to select the target. They use the other hand to select the target to avoid like, the effect of moving the target when selected. And here you can see the illustration of the task. If you don't know what the fifth law experiment is, it's just, is it working? Yeah. It's moving the cursor from point to point until you select the whole point in a circle. And participants were told to complete the, fast, the task fast and accurate as possible. Okay. So other subconditions of the experiment to fulfill the fit law is that they have three different target size from 1.5 centimeters to 3.5 centimeters. They have three different target sizes, 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters, and 30 centimeters. And extra, they have two different distances from the user, 75 centimeters and 150 centimeters. In total, like when we consider the three main conditions and the three, no, the two main conditions and the three subconditions, participants hit almost 1,200 targets, if I think it's well. And yeah, to see the task, you can see it here in the video. This is what the participants actually saw on each of the conditions. This is the VR task yeah, with the controller. The participants rested the hand in the table in front of the chair to avoid like fatigue. And also the, there was a table where users could slide the mouse. It was the air condition. The background of what condition was tried to be as similar as possible, as same as the lighting, to remove any kind of confound in the study. Yeah, I think we're repeating. Yeah. Okay, so what are the results? So in total, there was a 12 experiment, 12 participant experiment. Three of these were women. The age range, the medium was 27 years old. For the objective measure, they were like cursor speed, movement time, error rate, and throughput. And the subjective measures was comfort, perceived speed, ease of interaction, and user preference. And the results regarding movement time is movement time was considered the average time measure between the two consecutive selections, so from point to point. And participants spent a significant shorter time between selections with pen compared to the controller in both the VR and air condition. However, for like the air condition, the pen was faster even than the mouse. And that d does not happen in the VR condition. Regarding the error rate, which is the ratio of missed selection over number of targets in a circle, participants made more errors with the controller than with the pen in the VR condition. However, in the R condition, there was no significance between conditions, between input methods. Then throughput. Throughput is the important the combined speed and accuracy in a single measure using phase law. And the pen and the mouse produces significantly higher throughput than the controller in both environments. But there was no difference between pen and mouse. Then the cursor speed, which is how fast the cursor moves on target plane, which is centimeters and, uh, over seconds. Participants move the cursor significantly faster with the pen than the controller in both the VR and the air condition. But again, the pen in the air condition, the pen was also different to the mouse. So going to the subjective uh, measurements, participants also expressed that the pen and the mouse were more comfortable than the controller. And it was also easy to use, and they perceived that they could move the cursor faster with the pen. In addition, the results of VR were superior to VR. So like summarize the user preference, the participants significantly prefer the pen to the mouse or controller in both VR and AR conditions. So talking about like the interpretation of these results are the following. In general, the VR allow pointing devices to achieve higher performance than AR condition. And some of the explanation was or limitation of the AR headset are the larger latency of the Meta 2, that participants were distracted by the real world artifacts, even if like trying to minimize them. And also that they the unbalanced design of the headset. Basically, the Meta is 
in the back to the, compared to the front of the bike. Yes. Now, when considering about the input device, in both environments, the pen performance was always significantly better than the controller. And participants also prefer the pen to the controller. For example, they say like the pen-like device is smaller and lighter, and that it felt like using the fingers to point. Now, when we compare the pen to the mouse, which was the baseline condition, the pen results in equivalent performance with the mouse. However, participants prefer to use the pen both in AR and VR. And some of the comments they did was like, the mouse wasn't convenient as the movement was horizontal <coughs> in the like pad that they used to slide the mouse. And that the cursor seemed to appear from nowhere, which made it difficult to move or to point. So conclusions of future work. The uh, virtual reality pen device can afford to put at least as high as the mouse, both of which are significantly better than the VR controller. And participants like used to use the pen both in VR and AR. And future work is, for example, like talk about how we can like implement or bring the pen into different like devices. For example, like one easy support instead of having like the pen in the hand the whole time is because it's light, you can put it on top of like the headset and paste it there with magnetics. Yeah, thank you. Are you willing to take some questions? Yes, I will do my best effort. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, I'm interested, how much do you think the design of the pen actually matters? Or is it the fact that you have a precise grip versus the power grip? Okay, so actually in the paper, they did a, like they mentioned they did a lot of pilot study to design the pen because like the where the weight of the pen is it matters so like i don't have the paper there but they, they actually tried to use the controller with like the grip like just turning it around and it was not as useful because the weight was all in the back so the design of the pen does matter i'm curious about about one thing because um well it occurred to me that the mouse is a truly input device and both the controller and the pen are really three input devices so, of course, you also have a 2D problem. Uh, you're trying to point out uh, dots on, uh, on the circle. Right? Yes. Uh, so I guess that, that what's happening really is that you're shooting a ray from the pen towards uh, some plane, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then the cursor is the intersection point between the ray and, and, and the plane, and that would also go for the controller. But this means that there's some, isn't that then some arbitrary uh, choice of, of where to place that? Or, or maybe it's just the plane of the selection set. But, but in any case, if, if you move the if you move the pen closer or further away, it will mm -hmm. impact how quickly the little dot. Yeah, because the arrow moment. Okay. Yeah, if, the, if the pen is far away, right, and then move a little bit, then of course the the dot will move quicker on the, the yep. surface. So I, I don't know. Do you think this could possibly have influence? The they actually. Oh, let me just go to the slide. They test. That's why they test to different distances. Mm -hmm. ah, right. So yeah, they test two different distances. Like one was like nearby and one was like far away. And yeah, I think the right casting they use is like standard right casting where they project the point into the plane. But well, then the, the, there's a line slight bias in favor of the mouse then, right? Because it will be, we don't care about distance unless you move it more, more quickly uh, in the second case. I guess just there's a bias over the mouse? Yeah. I'm not sure if they discuss it in the paper. Yeah. You can take that back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, questions or comments from my answer? By now we're using very much our fingers uh, on the tablet or anything. What do you think? Do you think a finger would be better than a pen? No. Okay, I think there is one previous study from Wolfram, a professor, who compared like pen and like uh, the finger. I think the pen was faster because the grip is different. I don't know the name on top of my head of this paper. Wait, I think they have it here. Let me see. Yeah, they do. Wait, I'm sure. Yeah, like this. They, like this is a previous paper, like, and they compare like finger with different um, with the chopsticks. So yeah, that's why they're like ever evaluating pens and not fingers. Do you use a pen on their tablet? 
or do they use their fingers? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> you should ask the author. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use my finger. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know if you have any bonus slides or anything, but it would seem to me that the pen would get even better as targets got farther away, that the benefit would be even more pronounced at a greater angular distance, perhaps. Do you have any thoughts about that, or maybe I'm making it up, I don't know. I don't have any backup distance. I think personally, I agree that the angular distance like change by distance, so it should have an effect. But I don't think they have nothing about that. <laughs> I mean, it would move more quickly? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're also less precise because, like, the angle is. But yeah, it should have an effect. <laughs> yeah.